Hi there. In this video I'm going to attempt to troubleshoot this Dell Precision M4600 that is randomly pouring itself off. So yeah. To do this what I uh, firstly would like to try is uh, to open it up and change the thermal paste. And while I'm at it I will also clean up the memory contacts, reset the CPU, reset the GPU and see whatever in there could uh, also be causing some issues. thermal paste on the CPU is completely dry so I can imagine that CPU overheating also on the GPU on the GPU also I can see that the contacts are not in perfect shape they are starting to to change the color so I need to also clean those uh, had my camera angle wrong for a bit of time I uh, I cleaned the dust in this thing with a brush, with uh, uh, compressed air, with a bit of contact cleaner in an area where it looked a bit uh, off to me. So I will use contact cleaner in all of these uh, sockets, then dry it out with this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hope it's a contact problem somewhere. And I undid and uh, redid all of the plugs every single contact anywhere it was undone and put back together and obviously I will continue because everything else is already taken out so I need to re, re put them back together so yeah I don't know I don't know I hope it's a bad contact somewhere or maybe overheating who knows The CPU fan is making an annoying rattling noise. Already tried to take this out and see if I can put some oil in here. Absolutely impossible. So what I'm thinking now, I do not recommend this. I have this thing which was uh, uh, some sort of vacuum tool. Pick and place manually for small components. I modified it as an oiling tool. Uh, I am going to 
put some oil inside of this thing it will be really hard to show you anything let me try like this directly there in the middle uh, under the uh, PCB let me try and explain it, it uh, the inside of this thing looking from here like this it's like this with a shaft in the middle on that shaft you have a bearing this is the bearing type it's not a, an oil slip it's a bearing so I need to put the oil in this whole area so when I turn it around yeah it will come out all over the place so it will be quite dirty but a bit of it will also go uh, on that shaft to the bearing and hopefully it will stop making that quite annoying noise honestly I don't have any other option than to get a completely new fan like this which honestly it's not uh, yeah it's not an option I don't consider it an option this time so yeah I am going to do my best to put some oil in here and see what we get hopefully it works as I want if not well at least I tried I can always get it out uh, by using, uh, what do you call that, uh, that contact cleaner. So if this oil creates more problems than it solves, I do always have a, a solution to get it out. Again, this is not uh, <laughs> this is not a great solution. What I'm doing here, I do not really recommend you do this. But yeah, you know me. I try everything at least once and see if it actually helps anything or not. If this doesn't help, at least I know in the future that. There is no way to oil this type of, uh, of fans that actually have bearings in them instead of uh, uh, bushings or copper uh, uh, sleeves, how they are called, I don't really know. Yeah, I think I've put a fair bit of oil in this thing now. Yeah, I will continue to put oil, it will not be anything more interesting than what you are seeing up until now. Okay, ready to turn this thing upside down. I'm just going to play with it a bit more, up and down. Maybe I can do a bit of a, a kind of a pumping action to push the oil inside that bearing just by moving it. Might work might do absolutely nothing I, again experimenting here might make it even worse this fan might uh, work really badly after what i'm doing here i don't know but worse than uh, making a crazy rattling almost all the time nah, I, I, can it be worse than that anyway so let's turn this thing upside down and try to do that pumping action. Another thing that I'm going to do before uh, finishing uh, putting this thing back together, while the battery is out the charger is unplugged and the BIOS battery is unplugged I will hold the power button for one minute it seems that in many cases this solves incredibly weird and complex problems because yeah I'm, I'm going to try and explain what I gathered from the <laughs> internet it seems that uh, sometimes a static charge can accumulate 
in one of the components uh, in a laptop or in one zone in a laptop and it will just not get out of there and this is a way of releasing it I know it sounds weird I don't know if it's real but it seems that a lot of people can swear by this method so does it hurt to hold the power button for one minute no it does not so yep I'm doing it if you want to do it I do recommend at least you know you've tried one more thing ready to power this thing on, everything is back together, it might power on by itself when I gave it power because the BIOS was resetted, so that might happen or might not. So I will do basically day to day work to see if I can get this thing to shut off on me. Ok, we just saw this thing shutting off on me again. Something fi uh, fishy is happening here. It was flickering like it was doing when it started it, like it was doing some driver updates. But I wonder, what if it was switching between the two cards, the integrated one from the CPU and the dedicated uh, NVIDIA one. And what I'm going to do to take out uh, this thing from the equation. So this was not an overheating problem not a contact problem for sure. So to get uh, uh, the driver situation out of the equation I'm going to enter the BIOS and disable uh, the Optimus technology. And as you can see here it's not even booting up. After something like that happens this thing is Gansky. It cannot boot up. This thing is still going strong, 1 hour and 16 minutes, absolutely no problems. So at this point uh, I want to shut it down, put it uh, back together obviously, plug in the battery and then uh, continue to play around with it for as long as possible, update and shut down. Mm. Yeah, I mean no like that update and shut down because it might take a while. I've decided that maybe it's for the best to do a test on the memory, so I'm running Hyron's Boot CD Memtest 86 from this USB thing. And I think I will leave it uh, like this maybe for an, an hour or two, even more, depends, I will see. It's not the memory chips for sure. I decided to test them just to, to be 100% sure that it was not the memory. These are the chips that were already in, as you can see. Hopefully if my camera will decide to focus on what we need, maybe someday. I wrote this was in B slot and this was in A slot. So in case something went wrong I could put them exactly in the same position. And we are running with, uh, on the back of this in A and B, we are running with the chips that were in uh, C and D slots. So the memory is not the problem motherboard or CPU not being able to handle all 
uh, for uh, DIMS at the same time. That's for sure conclusive. I have proof now. So yeah, that's about it guys. Finally this video is over and I know for sure that it was not uh, defective memory causing this. It's something else inside this laptop, but we will run with 16 gigs. No problems for sure. We are running at this point for over 10 hours without any issues. No matter what we do, this will not shut off. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and bye.